Hey, Trace, um, you played against John Harrar before. He's almost uh, at 11 rebounds a game. And impressive numbers. What what makes him so tough under the under the glass? Um, I really think that with him, his timing and just going to get the ball, he has an act to go get it. And some people just don't have that mindset and he's got it. So um, he just he looks at the ball. He looks where they shoot it from. And then he's almost like on the right side every time. And then he does a lot of tipping, actually. So I'll tip the ball up to himself and then grab it. And then even on his offensive uh, misses, he'll come down, so he'll shoot the ball. And then if he knows he's going to miss it, then he'll jump up and just get the rebound. So um, he's a really good rebound, and we're going to have to keep him off the glass. Thanks. Matthew Byrne. Hey, Trace. I uh, hope you're doing well and uh, early Happy New Year. I'm um, just curious if there's anything that you learned, either through success or failure, of the uh, first two conference games that you look to take with you uh, for this stretch of Big Ten play to round out the season. Um, the biggest thing that we've learned through our two conference games is that um, there's going to be a lot of scouting, um, especially on me. And so I have to put myself in different positions to have an impact on the game. And then I think the second thing that's big for us is, um, especially on the road, we can't ever relax. Um, Wisconsin, we relaxed. Um, we had a 20-point lead, gave it away. So um, that's something that we can't do because we're not good enough to do that. So we have to always keep our foot on their neck. And um, I think those are the two biggest things that we've learned so far. Kevin. Uh, yeah, Trace, uh, I'm just curious about the layoff, you know, having the game canceled this week, how you guys uh, handled it. Uh, and uh, how do you think, uh, you know, maybe having that extra, extra practice time help or will there be a little bit of rust? I mean, how do you think it's going to impact Sunday? I think at this point in the season, I don't think it's it, there. There can be rest, but um, I think it was big for us. Um, UNC, Asheville, they're a good team. But at the same time, getting those extra pass practices in before our next Big Ten game, I think, is crucial. And uh, even playing against each other a little bit more, playing up and down with the time off against each other, just getting more guys and more guys active, I think was really helpful for us as well. So um, I'm going to I think it was more of a positive than a negative. Tom. Trace, uh, how much uh, goes into the scout for you in regards to how teams double team you uh, in different ways? And uh, what, if anything, does Penn State do when they're doubling bigs uh, that, that causes the biggest concern for you? Um, what we saw in practice is that um, Penn State doubles from the baseline. So they come from the bot bottom side. So basically, I'm going to have to take the ball probably towards the middle. But at the same time, we're going to have cutters um, race on the wing. He's going to cut to the rim and then have Miller or whoever's on the backside go up. So hopefully we can get a lot of open shots that way. But um, I just basically, even if they do it a different way, I just have to take what the defense gives me. Um, I think in our last few games, I've handled the double team pretty well. So I'm um, just getting that position. And hopefully I can get it um, better position under the bucket where they don't even have a chance to double team. So, Tyler. Hey, Trace, I hope you're doing well. Um, I know it's been mentioned a couple of times, Anthony's work ethic. Um, are there any memories or moments that just stick out to you that kind of exemplify his work ethic? Um, Anthony, every day that I'm in early night, I see him in the gym shooting on the gun. Um, it doesn't matter when it is. Um, I think the biggest moment was last year. Um, he didn't play at all, and I sat there and rebounded for him. And he was just getting shots up after shots after shots. And what people don't understand is that after that, after he was in the main gym, he went to the call and probably shot another 500 shots. So um, he's always working. He's always working on his shot. And um, as you can see, um, it's showing. His work is showing because he's starting now for us. So um, it's really big for us. And um, he's playing really well. And we just got to keep, keep having that from him. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Trace, I was hoping you could share some specifics from your training and workout regimen that helps you to prepare for the, the increased size and physicality and strength that you're going to face now in the Big Ten. What, what kind of things do you do to help get yourself ready for that? Um, the biggest thing that I do, the biggest thing with me is um, I think that what I've been doing poorly, I should say, in the last few games, especially against bigger opponents, I'm, um, I'm going up too quick. I'm thinking everyone's going to block my shot, and I – just like going up too fast. And I think that's the biggest thing. I just need to relax when I'm under the bucket and just put the ball in the hole. And when I do that, I play really well. So that's just probably the biggest thing for me is just take my time towards the rim and just not hoisting them up and throwing them up and hoping they go in, but putting them in the hole. So just taking my time toward, at the basket. Dustin, then we'll finish up with Alex. Go Dustin. OK, 
Okay, Alex and Tyler. Grace, I'm curious, you know, winning on the road is, is going to be important for you guys to ultimately uh, reach your goal of making the tournament, but it, it's difficult to win on the road. I'm curious when you have those moments of adversity uh, on the road that are inevitably, inevitably going to happen, what, what do you guys kind of need to do as a team or maybe you as an individual to maybe turn the momentum? Is that something that you're going to be more vocal about moving forward? Uh, most definitely. I think um, I think not as much against Syracuse. I think Syracuse early, we were we were a little rushed, but we kind of got our composure and held, held ourselves together. But against Wisconsin, it was just um, – especially towards the end of the second half, it started just, we started speeding up and going after and just speeding and speeding and speeding. And no, no one ever said, um, we need to relax, just calm down. And that's lies on me. So I need to be the guy that, especially playing there and doing all, being in the Big Ten before and playing against crowds like this, I need to tell our guys that everything's good, especially when we have four or five point lead with two minutes left. We don't need to go and do, shoot 10 seconds into the shot clock. So um, that really rely, falls on me and um, I'm going to do better than that and that, Sort, sort of area, but uh, at the same time, um, you can see that both of our road games are winnable games. We're two or three possessions from being 12 and 0. So um, it's just a little things that we have to prepare for. And I think that down the stretch, I think it's a learning experience um, with those last two games. And I think we'll be better at it in the future. Tyler. Trace, obviously, um, there's a kind of just pressure that comes with playing at Indiana. Um, but also for you coming in with the expectations and, um, you know, being named an All-American, how do you, like, deal with that pressure? Is that something that um, you like to think about, or is that something that, like, you try to just put out of your mind? How do you kind of just go about mentally, like, dealing with that? I think the biggest – I think of it more of – I never think of pressure as bad. Um, I think pressure, and especially with all the accolades that I've received preseason, I think it's a good thing. Um there's good pressure, and that's what I always try to think about, trying to keep my mind in a good place. And at the same time, if you're receiving those accolades and people are talking about you and doing this and that, you're doing something right. So um, I just try to keep my play, um, keep it out on the court, keep my composure. And um, obviously with the university, um, the fans want to see wins, so and we want to see wins too. So and we work or bust our chops. I won't say the word, but um, we bust our chops to get in the position where we are. We're 10 and two right now. We dropped two eggs, but at the same time, there's a lot of eggs in the future to get. So um, we're just going to have to play as a team. And I think that if we do that, then we'll have a really good shot and be in a really good position come March. Last question, Tom. Grace, you talked a lot uh, in the preseason and early in that about how you were just in so much better condition and shape coming into this year. And now that the Big Ten season's here, if you had to go 36, 38 minutes in some games, if it just kind of plays out that way, I mean, are you are you in a position where you're capable of doing that right now? Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely play as much as coach needs me. Um, that was one of the main reasons why I stayed. He told me that in most of these games, especially towards the Big Ten games, you're going to be playing 38 to 40 minutes a game. You're not going to be coming out, which at the same time I did that last year. And last year, I'm not nearly in as good a shape as, as I am this year. So um, I'm ready to take on that challenge. And um, whatever my team needs me to do and whatever my coach needs me to do to win, I'm going to do it. So 